Hello everyone, welcome to fellow international students. So today as our guest speaker, we have Mr. Arjun. Uh, this is where growth begins. And to start off, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Shravan and it's almost been a year since I'm in Canada now. Uh, I graduated from the supply chain course at Seneca and now I'm pursuing business analytics in Seneca College. So today the main purpose of this discussion is to understand the role of data analytics in supply chain. So we'll be having a discussion with Mr. Arjun. And now Mr. Arjun would like to introduce himself. Thank you very much, uh, Shravan. I really love uh, the energy what you're portraying so far. Uh, hey guys, this is Arjun here. Uh, very excited. I came as an international student seven years back from Bangalore and uh, graduated from Seneca Supply Chain Management Program. And I'm in the supply chain industry from past five years. Uh, I work with uh, companies like Acklands Granger and uh, Walmart, and I'm currently working as a demand planner for Sobeys. It's been a quite exciting journey, and I'm so excited to meet my buddy Shravan uh, today. Uh, basically, we both are from Bangalore, India, coming from the same place, and uh, he's he's absolutely doing good in his uh, career right now, and he's actually studying data analytics program. And uh, we're so so excited to talk about how data analytics affects supply chain, or what are the things. Uh, supply chain uh, uh, professionals uh, like you know consider or do in terms of data analytics so Shravan that's pretty much from my side so how about you kick start and uh, keep things rolling yes absolutely so as we all know that today we live in a very data driven world where businesses use uh, tons of uh, tons of data to you know make decisions and to see what kind of impact everything is having around them so my first question to you is going to be towards the supply chain industry since our discussion is based on supply chain. As a as an entry level supply chain professional, do you think we supply chain professionals need data analytics skills, or what kind of skills should we have as graduates? Yeah, absolutely. Like you know, uh, right now, not just for supply chain, for every single industry, data plays a very very important role, and so does for supply chain industry as well. Uh, maybe five, six years, seven years back, supply chain was not really data driven. It was more physical environment and uh, logistics driven and transportation driven. Uh, but right now, uh, with, with all the systems, with all the data and all the predictable uh, models and whatnot, as a supply chain professional, it is very vital and very significant and very important for you to learn uh, data analytics or have basics of data analytics. So that way, you know how to read data, how to like, you know, uh, draw conclusions and present data to the leadership it's very important yes thank you thank you now uh, moving on to the second question now with our with our first question we know what kind of skills we need to have we know the importance of data now to make it more specific what is the impact of data analytics in supply chain industry or in your organization Beautiful, uh, Shravan, great question. So for example, I work as a demand planner for Sobeys in the fresh industry, right? In the fresh produce and uh, all the fresh products and services. Um, so for me, it is very hard to um, come up with the forecast is because the shelf life of the products is very low. And for example, for whatsoever the reason, I kind of bring a little bit more or bring a little bit less. So either it impacts the customer or the business in terms of waste. So for me, data is my fuel. That means the data is my food. I need to know how much we sold last week, how much we sold last month, how much we sold last year on an individual SKU level. What are some of the seasonality index? What are some of the promotional strategies? What is the growth percentage of the company? These are some of the uh, variables and attributes I consider uh, into my day in day life of a demand planner and draw conclusions towards how much I need to bring, how much I need to keep and, and whatnot. So data plays a very, very important role. Um, what is the impact? Impact is business growth. If the right data used in a right way, the business grows. And if there is no data and there is no way you can use the uh, data and obviously the business doesn't grow. So that's why more and more companies are adapting data systems and also hiring individuals who have skills in data. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now, uh, moving on to our next question. Uh, now we know the impact of data analytics. We know what kind of skills as a graduate that we need to possess or as a professional that we need to possess possess to get into this industry are there any specific tools that you that you use or that you recommend people to have when they are looking for jobs or from a from a professional or from a personal point of view absolutely i love that question um, uh, shravan let's let's have a context of 
um, either you're a data analyst who are looking for uh, jobs in supply chain or a supply chain analyst or supply chain professional looking for jobs in supply chain. And assuming that you have one to two years of work experience back home or here, or like, you know, some, some sort of one to two years of relevant experience as an ideal candidate, um, you should be knowing uh, Excel in and out. When I say Excel in and out, at least we look up pivot tables, formulas, data visualization, pie charts, and uh, comparison charts. And all of these things are basic stuff because right now we are gone out of the paper world. So everything is on computer. And in computer, the only way you can maintain data is Excel. So it's very important. If you know Excel, I can tell you, you got the job. It's as simple as that. So it's very important that you learn Excel as much as possible. And if you are home and you want to spend some time and you want to watch a movie, I would rather go to LinkedIn Learning and spend some time on learning Excel. So that's basic. And ne next, going into more of data, uh, pulling the data or data management systems uh, or data warehousing is more about SQL, right? Uh, like, you know, uh, we have uh, SQL where um, you can actually uh, pull sales, um, like, you know, you're uh, in stock or uh, you, can, you can code specific, um, uh, like, you know, scripts based on spe specific um, uh, requirements frankly speaking i'm i'm not a i'm prof i'm not a professional in terms of writing the scripts but i do have a bunch of database where i can run the scripts and i can pull the data to use my uh, use it to my um, uh, daily work and also power bi is a data visualization tool which actually helps for us to put the data from excel into that and show it to our um, like you know uh, our leadership and also it helps to set up the reports ready and it's just about clicking the buttons and the report comes in and yes. give that reports to uh, a profile, I mean, like, you know, rest of the team. And also Tableau is something which is very, very vital. So in terms of data analytics, Excel, um, like, you know, SQL, Tableau and Power BI, these are some of the basic or not basic, even advanced tools, which, which are uh, very significant and important for you to know yes. before entering the job market. I'm sure these tools will be used from an entry level to a very high level job as well. doesn't matter what, what position you are in. hundred percent. If you are making $14 per hour as in supply chain clerk, and you're making hundred, hundred dollars per hour as in director of supply chain, you have to use these tools. You need to know how to navigate through this. Maybe you don't have to know how to build these tools and build the reports, but at least you should know the name. You should know how to navigate. You should know what's in there. So that's the basic application of the tools, please. Exactly. Ba basic application of the tools. Yeah. Yes. Understood. Understood. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, now, so now we know what kind of tools we have. We know what is data analytics. We know what's the relation between them. Now, I, my next question is going to be more job specific. Now, as a data analyst, like with the, with the data analytics background, and if I'm looking to enter into the supply chain industry, and we know data analytics is a huge industry. Supply chain is a huge industry with a lot of domains. Now, to enter supply chain industry, what kind of job title should I look for? Or for an individual, what kind of individual, I mean, sorry, what kind of job title should the individual look for? Yeah, I love that question, um, Shravan. Um, again, let's let's draw let's draw in a context here. So let's think there is a big company and there is a small, medium company. Big company obviously has more money, so they can deploy more uh, people. And small company has a little bit of less money, so they would deploy less people, right? So let's assume big company. A big company, let's say, uh, for example, they have ten supply chain analysts working for them for different different things. Um, if they still have money, so they would they would hire a reporting analyst. The reporting analyst is the guy who knows more data. So he's building reports. He's supporting all these 10, 10 supply chain analysts in providing the reports on a daily basis, working on process improvement and whatnot. Another title would be a data analyst. He's a data analyst working with the data and providing the data insights to the supply chain analyst. So that way they're, they're not like the supply chain analyst is not learning how to do an SQL and like spending a lot of time, but he's looking into the data and he's taking the business, business decision because a data analyst would not take a business decision Data analyst only pulls the data and like, you know, creates the data and gives the uh, information to the leadership. The leadership or the analyst would be taking the responsibility. On a big company, maybe you should be looking on a data analyst or a ju junior data analyst or a reporting analyst in the supply chain industry. Let's assume you are applying for a medium company, right? And they don't have 10 supply chain analysts. They, they just have two supply chain analysts. Right now, as a supply chain analyst, you should be working the reporting job as well as the supply chain analyst job. Okay. So this is where you will be named as a supply chain analyst, but however, you will be kind of born to build the reports and learn the tools and, and make sure that you are the supplier of the data for yourself and the decision maker as well. Yes. So these are some of the roles. Understood. Understood. Thank you. Thank you.
so i guess now we know we have an overview of the relation between data analytics and supply chain and how data is used being used in supply chain as today uh, this is a very common question that we all wonder what like what's what lies for us as an individual in getting into a job or getting into a company if you can just describe the pay scale that is involved in our supply chain industry for someone from an analytics background that's a great question man i don't know whether we discussed about this before the meeting but i it was in my mind and i wanted to talk about it but you asked that question very well uh, to be straightforward um, obviously let's talk about average canadian income right so the average canadian income is 45000 um so frankly speaking companies are recognizing that there are a lot of talent uh, available within canada there are a lot of people who have similar skill sets think about it for example i know excel there are 10000 people also knows excel yes i know tableau there are other 10000 people also know no tableau so there is a huge competition so that's why to start off the pay pay is not really high because coming from back home or south asian countries we always compare um uh, us pay as a pay like 100k jobs like those 100k jobs and what not but canada is not as big as us and the scale the pay scales are much uh, different uh, than um, uh, us right? right so for example uh, let's assume a student has two years education in canada or one year of education in data and also he has two years of experience uh and it would be his first job he his or her first job in canada we would expect somewhere between 50 to 60000 dollars per year full time okay okay and let's assume they have 2 years of canadian experience maybe they should be looking between 60 to 80000 dollars okay okay and maybe they have 5 years of experience in the data maybe they should be looking between 90 to 120k so it all goes upon the uh, uh, like an experience. experience but as a fresher you should be aiming somewhere between 50 to 60000 dollars per year okay just a small add on question with that uh so as students we are even if we don't want to we are compelled to do part time jobs to survive in canada do you think our part time experience will help us in the adds value in getting a full time job 100% no questions about it i am a big advocate of this particular topic um it might not directly help you out but indirectly it does help you because if you work in a nice part time job you think about yourself you are working in a fresh co it's a retail store So yeah. you get an opportunity to understand how does a big retailer works. One number yes. one, you understand their culture, you make relationships, you network with people, as well as you are facing the Canadian customer on everyday basis. So you know yeah. the pulse of the customer. A person who knows the pulse of the customer at the bottom of the supply chain would make better decisions in the when they come on the top. Yes, think because about it. Happening on the ground level. exactly you are completely aware for example let's say you are you got a report saying that we um, shorted 50 cases of bananas for customers think about it or 50 50 bananas you like oh just 50 i sold like 1200 uh, yeah. bananas just 50 doesn't matter but if you are working at the store level you know what is the frustration of 50 customers who are like where they are unhappy because the bananas are not there yeah, yeah. when they don't find their product on the shelf exactly so now you know the pulse of the uh, customer so you make better decisions in the top level so the companies do recognize that if you're coming from a store level or in like you know a um, good part time job in canada they do recognize yes. and they do appreciate that you you have some sort of experience for sure all right all right okay. i think this was a very informative uh, informative discussion for our fellow international students who are planning to come to canada and as an international student for me who's been living here thank you for your time and we hope this video gives a lot of benefits to everyone who's going to see it thank you again yeah, absolutely shavan thank you very much for uh, dropping by today uh, guys uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, like you know please hit the bell icon and uh, we are going to produce more content more authentic and quality content and uh, we're pretty sure that this is going to be beneficial for you and uh, please share thank you very much bye bye yeah.